What's up guys? Just got out of school here. Just want to talk about uh, Apex Legends. The state of it. What I think of it. I think what a lot of people think about it these days. I started playing Apex on season 15. Like that was the real time when I started playing Apex. For real, right? I was instantly hooked to the game. I thought it was the funnest thing ever. Season 15 was so much fun, you guys. Learning all the new guns, learning just all that stuff. Getting the Kraber coming down from the care pack was so cool. Getting like, what was it, the Mastiff back then? I think it was, or it was the Eva 8 or something like that, back in the care package, right? Because they change it all the time. They change the guns, they rotate it. There was the bow check, I think, back then too. I think they still have the bow check. Yeah, they do for sure. Oh, I remember it was the, oh, what's that? P, what is it? The R45, that handgun. Hold on guys, there's like a person trying to cross here. But yeah, I just remember having such a good time and then slowly over time, the game just kind of got worse and worse. Like progressively just got more and more toxic in a way like cheaters and stuff like it was just unbelievable you guys like I just remember you know playing with a PC like I played with mouse and keyboard for the longest time I had a great great experience doing that I probably clocked in 1500 hours alone just on M and K but I switched over to roller when I was at the 1500 mark right and I noticed instantly it was easier to do. Like you just picked it up like this and it was easy to play with. It was really responsive. And it was just like, it felt weird because you could easily hit shots that were just almost impossible. Like to just auto lock on the enemy like that was almost impossible with the uh, mouse and keyboard, right? Like you would try and I would do the freaking aim labs thing just to try to improve myself but that takes a long time to do and it takes a lot of dedication. I tried. Nowadays, what are we, season 22 here? It's a gong show. It's a straight up gong show. They literally nerfed aim assist to the ground. That same aim assist no longer is good. It's like 20% now or something like that. I remember playing the game as soon as they like launched the nerf. And I, th I even think like a lot of the pros were struggling too. Like they were not doing as well. I just remember watching the pros play and they were just like, holy shit, this is noticeable. But it's even more noticeable for people who are not pros like me. I'm not a pro by any means. Nowadays, it's easier just to go and play with the M&K again. Like I find that the 1500 hours translates better now than it ever did back then. So am I really hurting? No. But are, are people hurting who just played controller? Yeah, they are, for sure. I notice a lot of people miss their shots, like especially in competitive play, right? You go, you go into ranked. I mean, there's still a fuck ton of cheaters, you guys. Like, let me get this straight. There's a, so many cheaters out there. You pay $20 and you're God, basically. You pay 20 fucking dollars. You're God or you can see through the fucking walls. You can do anything you want. Walling, there's... I've known so many people to wall. They just wall. And they're just like, oh yeah, it's it's so easy. It's like, yeah, it's easy because you're cheating. Why are you doing that? You're wrecking the game for so many people. Or they'll just do like uh, the cheats where you miss some shots, but then other shots are just always like gonna hit. It's just like soft cheating, I think is what it's called. Soft, soft aimbot, that's what it is. That's fucking bullshit, you guys. If you're cheating on a game just to get satisfaction like that, something's wrong with you, fucking deep down. You shouldn't be cheating life like that. But they do. They don't care. What do they fucking care? They want to be good. They want to be recognized as someone good. They want that cred badge. They'll do anything for it. It's dumb, dude. Like, it's seriously such a flaw in the game. But enough about cheaters. Let's talk about like changes they've made with like characters and stuff. Like instead of 
nerfing characters to the ground and making them unusable and like unplayable. No one wants to play that character. Why would they not just buff them? Just slightly buff it. More and more. Slightly buff it. You don't need to nerf characters all the way. You're going to make it so bad. You're going to turn people off from playing the champion. The game's Apex Legends, right? Legends. Not Apex Couple Legends, right? Apex Legends. All of them. All of them should be good. Not just a few. But when you do this, you make it a certain way. A lot of people don't like a certain way. I get it. There's metas and shit. Some champions are better than others. Because they made it that way. They fucking deliberately made it that way. All you do to fix this is either make the kit better or just buff them. Stop fucking nerfing people. Stop nerfing legends. It's enough. Nobody cares, man. Have you ever complained about someone saying, oh, this gun's too good? Yeah, they do. They do. It's, I don't know. Some people do. But a lot of people, they don't. They go, holy shit, this gun feels good. I love to use it. Please don't change this. Please don't change this. And you know what? They change it. They fucking change it. Right now, my biggest problem is those Mozams. Okay, they might be a little too strong. I get that. But they're fun as fuck, you guys. They're so fun to use. I get it. You put the hammers on those. Holy shit. You will devastate anybody. You'll shoot, like, a few shots, and they're so easy to aim, too. Like, it just feels so good to use them. Those and those care package P2020s mailed to you. You know, it comes down, it's, like, fucking Ubered right to your, your fucking feet. <laughs> and you pick those up. I've never lost a fight with them. You, it's hard to. It's really hard to lose a fight. You can literally kill someone in seconds and then turn around and kill their friend, too. That's how good they are. Same with the Mozams. Like, it's insane. If you get a fully kitted out Mozams, you're not losing. Like, those Mozams are stronger than most care pack weapons. I mean, they do come out of those care packs. They've kind of reworked that, right? So it's like golden care packs and then the, the mythical care packs, like the red ones, of course, right? I still like the regular care packs, like the, the mythical ones. Those are fun. Like, Kraber's really fun, too. Um, they really buffed, the, like, the Devotion. I feel the Devotion got the coolest upgrade. The way it shoots now, the way it sprays, when it gets tighter together, the more shots you make, that makes sense, bro. That change right there made that gun so addictive to use. So good. Like... That's what the gun should have been from the start, right? But it wasn't. They had some weird... Like, you couldn't use the gun. Nobody liked it. It just shot all over the place. Like, the aim, the accuracy was terrible. That and the L-Star. Do you remember the old L-Star? Shit was unbearable, bro. Like, there was a few guns in the game. Especially the energy guns. Like, L-Star, Devotion was terrible. The Volt was always a solid choice. The Volt always had just that nice stream of bullets... It was super accurate. It just felt more accurate than most guns. It just didn't do a whole lot of damage, right? I think they might have nerfed that one. Another really amazing gun that I remember using back then was the R99. It was fun. You got fast kills. You got rewarded. You got rewarded for your damage output. You got rewarded for hitting all your bullets. That was a fun thing. But every patch, you know, they took one bullet away or, hey, a little too strong here. Let's make it 13 damage. Oh, no, too good still. Let's make it 12 damage. Oh, that's too good still. Let's, uh, let's just neuter the gun. Let's neuter the gun so it doesn't exist anymore. That's not fun. Why would you do that? Like, we're playing Apex Legends for a reason. We're not playing a game where... We constantly have to get punished for something being too good in their eyes, right? I want to play a game where I can log in with my buddies. We know what gun we like because it's a fun gun to use and we can get those kills with it. Not some gun where the guy, you've literally shot him and he's like one shot away. Like every time. Like that's so boring. Like I have to reload or switch the gun, something else, right? That's boring to me. That's bad design. 
people would say, you know, just get good, right? Just get good. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Just get good. Okay. So, I mean, I could, right? Try to get the fucking aim labs going again. Try to do this and that. But it just feels like these guns are just, they're not doing it anymore. It, they're not. Like, nobody picks up any other gun except for the Mozams or the P2020s. That's all I've seen. Oh, oh, okay. There's one more thing I want to talk about. There is the resupply of those boxes. Like, you get to a certain part of the game. It's like the last couple of rings, right? And it announces, hey, we're going to re restock the boxes. And then these boxes either is like a McDonald's one. That's like the, the yellow McDonald's one. That's what we call it. <laughs> or it's the mythical one with the, the light that shoots up in the air. And you can kind of see like where it is. It's broken. Like, why is this a fucking thing? Why is that a thing? You get everything. I opened one up before and there was five backpacks the golden ones there was five of them okay five Gucci backpacks just chilling there <laughs> why why is that even a thing golden backpacks used to be a rare thing you would go like find it on the map you'd get really lucky it's an RNG based game too right we're forgetting that we're forgetting a lot of what made the game great it's that element of RNG it's the element of you not having a gun when you drop sometimes right that's totally up to you because you dropped with other people that's your mistake either you got a gun or you didn't it's part of the game guys um what else the gold like the, the red ones the mythical ones it's jam-packed just full of just broken guns like the new 99 is I, I love it like I won't lie I really like the way it feels I'm not gonna downplay how these guns feel because they're so fucking fun but it's just, I'm going to complain more about, like, why there's so many in one little area, right? You open up a crate and you just get everything handed to you? Just for existing like that? Why? Why is that even a thing? That's so broken. That's so, like, that's a flaw, right? Not the gun's damage. Like, who cares? The flaw is these fucking bins. Like, why? I don't get it, man. I just don't understand. Well, what can I do, right? Like, they're the fucking developers. They know it all. They understand things more than me, right? I'm just a stupid player. <laughs> right? All I'm saying, guys, is... We've had more fun with this game in the past. They, they don't need to change it as much as they do. I get it. Change is a great thing. It is. For most games. But it's the direction they keep going with it. It just sinks it further and further into the ground to the point where it's unrecognizable it's not the same game anymore we're playing a total totally different animal like it's just is it fun though i don't know man i don't, I don't really know like i'll still log in with my buddies and kind of play but i just i hear complaining way more than i've ever heard complaining before like i don't like this i don't like this anymore i wish i had that again like, I'm hearing more and more complaints. Even I catch myself doing it, too. Like, I'm really critical about the game that I love. I love Apex, guys. Apex is probably... It, it still can be the best game ever made. Like, Battle Royale. It's the best. Nothing beats it. Not not, not Fortnite. Not, nothing. Nothing. This game is it's fucking perfect. All they need to do is get their shit together. That's it. Get rid of the cheaters. I know they banned 6 million of them. It's a good start, you guys. It's really good. Thank you. Thank you for cleaning that up. That's amazing. Don't nerf characters. Like, don't do it anymore. Don't nerf the fucking characters. You don't need to do that. You need to buff them. You need to buff things. Do not nerf. Nerfing is what caused World of Warcraft to become so shit. Like, other games. Look at other games. They nerfed all classes. And it was boring. Like, it was so stupid. I love having broken classes. I love having broken characters. Everyone does. What was wrong with Wraith instantly being able to do the thing? Why? That was fun. That was... It made Wraith Wraith. Not a, a cool cooldown or, like, something where she has to, like, wind it up. Like, dude. No. No. Buff them. Just continue to buff them. 
I think Apex can get fixed. It's going to take a lot of work, though. It's going to take a lot of work with the developers. and They just need to understand where players are coming from, rather than their own selfish intentions. That's all it's got to be. That's all it's got to be. Start listening, actually, right? Okay, guys. I've talked about enough here. We all understand the state of Apex. We all feel it. We all resonate, you know, with the old shit. We want that shit back. Well, not all of it, but some of it, right? <laughs> all right, guys. Good chatting. Comment down below what you guys want Apex to do. What you guys feel is wrong. What you guys think could get better in the game. All right, guys. Take care.